Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starbright 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, could you, uh, or would you, not could you, but would you go over there <laughs> and just hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, give me a thumbs up as well as uh, leave me a comment. I would, I'd love to read your comments. I'd love to hear about uh, uh, anything that you have to say. Um, I do try to respond uh, to all my comments, so if I have missed anyone, my deepest apologies. Um, but yeah, uh, we are growing, so I'm really excited about that. I think we're up to like 260 now, so thank you all for subscribing. Uh, it means so much to me. So yeah, so today I went over to the, I went to town and we went to a flea market, but there was really nothing there. It was uh, a little bit windy, so kind of dusty and and uh, a lot of tools. So I mean, if you are a guy or, or a woman that loves to play with tools, tons and tons of tool stuff. Um, they really didn't have their little market set up inside yet. There was a few little vendors in there, but nothing really uh, caught my eye. But at Dollar General, I found these beautiful butterflies. So they are they are just little stakes you put in the ground. Or you could, I guess, hang them up if you wanted to because they do have a hook. But I thought they were just so pretty. So um, I'm going to put them in my little, uh, or have my little solar lights outside. And that's where they're going to go. And then I also found these cute little, I believe they're supposed to be, um, I'm presuming, butterflies maybe, or some kind of flying bug anyway. I just thought they were so cute. And these flowers here move, so, so yeah, so I'm thinking in the wind they will move around. And uh, I just thought they were really, really cute. And they were only a dollar. So, a dollar a piece. So, yeah, I thought they were really cute. And that was my big find today uh, at the Dollar General here in town. Um, I did get a Timu order in. So, that will be coming up. A uh, lot, probably, probably mo quite a few diamond paintings and the jewelry. Those are the two things that... Uh, that will be mostly of will be diamond paintings and jewelry. Um, my husband and I were talking and thinking of maybe um, setting up a little booth at the at our local uh, flea market here. So we're gonna look into it and just see. But I did get this gorgeous uh, bracelet <laughs> uh, from Timu today, and uh, just adorable. It's an Eeyore bracelet or a Winnie the Pooh bracelet. Um, but it has all the characters. It's got Pooh, it's got Eeyore, it's got Tigger, and it's got little Piglet here, and then it's got the bird, and then I think it has Rue in here as well. Let me see if I can find Rue. And then it's just got a little balloon, Eeyore and his balloons, and here's Rue right here, and then the elephant. Can't, oh no, the kangaroo. A Rue is a kangaroo? Oh no, I should know this. But anyway, so, so yeah, and then a cat. This one kind of looks like a cat, so I'm not sure. But yeah, those are the, uh, the gems that were on them. Like I said, it's really, really pretty. It's silver, and then it's got these little stones hanging from them as well. Um, so, so yeah, really, really like that. So it was like it was under four dollars anyway for this, and uh, like I said, I just I just love this uh, charm bracelet. So really really cute, but um, I'll put the link down in my description if you're interested in that. Um, if you're uh, crazy like me with Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> but anyway, I I am going to review the two dime dime paintings that I uh, that my husband ordered me from. Uh, AliExpress. So, yeah, let's uh, open them up and get started. I'm almost finished my diamond painting. Oh, I tried so hard to get it done, guys. I, I really did, and uh, just you know how things go. And uh, 
And yeah, so I probably have maybe another hour and hour and a half left on it. So I'll for sure uh, show it uh, for tomorrow's. Um, oh wow, tomorrow's uh, video. So of course it comes with this little roller. It is a soft canvas. And this is a gorgeous, uh, looks like Jasmine and a tiger. I'm going to say it's Jasmine and the Tiger. Absolutely beautiful. She looks like it anyway. Really, really nice. This one has 39 colors. Let's see if I can just fold it up here a little bit. These soft canvases are kind of hard to roll the other way. But. Let me see. Let's see if. She'll lay down flat there. Let me move this other stuff out of the way here. I still have my containers up here that I'm working in. <laughs> uh, that I didn't move from my uh, other canvas set. Or my diamond painting that I'll be bringing back and working on after this video. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. She is beautiful. So there she is. And there's the tiger. Like I said, she does have... 39 colors and let's see uh, this one costs nine dollars and 96 cents and there are a B's in it there are five a B's so and it's a 50 by 60 so yeah just beautiful Joe Phil looks really really nice too on this one see I think her face is going to turn out really really nice and there's the uh, tiger there and I think the tiger will turn out really really nice so yeah really really nice I don't know if this one came in two parts too probably some of these have been coming in two parts and for the uh, film but no, well, this one looks like it's just one. So it does. I think that's just a film. That's oh yeah. See this one here. That's up here. So it does come in two separate films. But yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. Let's see how sticky this one is. Nice and sticky. And like I said, this one is a square as well. So let's take a look. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. And if you're spending it with family, that is going well. And uh, if you celebrate Easter at all. You know, in Canada, I remember years ago, everything would have been closed. Uh, especially for Friday, for Good Friday. And as well for uh, Easter. Um, I was quite shocked that that the postal service was even working up here for a Good Friday, because um, that's something that always remained closed in Canada. And but yeah, everything just seems to seems to have changed through the years so much. So there's her. There's the picture of her. Really, really nice. Absolutely gorgeous. And then these are the colors. Let's see if we can find. So we're going to have three tens again. Lots of three tens for ABs. Lots and lots. What did I say? There was four of them? Five of them. So there's supposed to be five ABs in here. We got the browns. This looks like a burgundy. The squares look all really nice. Here's another AB. three four there should be one more in here lots of burgundies browns oh, that's a pretty blue a nice blue but yeah if you just look at the, how nice those squares are really really nice they look really nice
Okay. Okay, they are. Alright. So we have a violet color. And so this number is 211. So that's 1AB. And then this one is an orange. And that's uh, 740. And then this one is 445 and it's a pretty yellow. Just gorgeous. Love the sparkle on those. And this is uh, 3846 which is a beautiful blue color. And then the 310 black. And that's a big bag of it. <laughs> so yeah. There will be a lot of those. So there are symbols in this painting along with uh, numbers and letters. So so yeah, really, really nice. You know what didn't come with it though? Is I don't see a kit. Or a, yeah. Hmm. So most paintings do come with a kit. I don't know, maybe, don't know what happened to these kits unless they're still, no, they're not in the bag. That's very weird. Anyway, most, most uh, come with a kit. So uh, if it is your first time diamond painting, you will get, I don't think I have any kits around here, but I'll show you. So you get a tray, not, you usually get a small tray and then you'll get some wax that you dip your pen into. So hold on, let me just open this. So you'll get like a piece of wax here, like this. And it does have a film on it that you just peel off. And that's what you're gonna stick your pen into. And then, here's a pen. Hold up. Let me just grab this pen. And then this is a pen that, that you get. So, that's just your basic um, kit. And then, usually with squares, you'll get uh, tweezers. They're not very good. Um, I really like uh, these kind of tweezers when I do square paintings. They're very pointy at the top. You can see that. And they're just really, really good to pick up the, pick up the diamonds. So, these are the kind that I like to work with when I'm wor working on squares. But yeah, so that's just your basic uh, kit that you would get. Except usually the the tray is much smaller. I do suggest to get a bigger a bigger tray though, because like I said, uh, the ones you get are just like really small. And I apologize, I don't know what happened to the kit that was in here. But anyway, so that's uh, yeah. So that is uh, I'm calling her Jasmine. Um, she looks like she's dressed like Jasmine, and then the really, really nice tiger there. And again, this one was uh, 50 by 60. So really, really nice. So I wanted to go to some thrift stores today, but they were all closed in the town I lived in. I don't know what was up with that but I thought well maybe it has to do with it being Easter long weekend or Easter weekend maybe but I haven't had much luck getting into the uh, stores over here the thrift stores but maybe I'll have to try during the week sometime maybe I'll have better luck I have to be careful where I go because my puppies have to come with me. I don't leave them in the car and I don't leave them in the RV. So so they have to come into the stores with me. I do have a little stroller for them. Excuse me, I had to, I had to take a drink. So yeah. So they, they go in, I put them in their stroller and off we go. And I uh, haven't had too many people say anything about that. So... Which is really nice. Usually they say, oh, let me see your puppies. <laughs> so really, really good. The, uh, the, dollar, the Dollar Tree and the Dollar or Dollar General. I think there's a Dollar Tree, a Dollar General, and a family. 
Family Dollar? Does that sound right? I think so. I'm still learning all these uh, names, so. So this is the second one. So they do, they do come with these, uh, these rubber bands around them. So this is a 40 by 50. Oh my goodness. Just adorable. It's a little girl and a lamb, it looks like. Oh, it's so sweet. She is so, so cute. Let's see if I can just roll her a little bit the other way. Again, nice soft uh, canvas. And uh, this one is, is a square as well, it looks like. And there she is. Really sweet. <laughs> and then there's a little lamb here. She's sitting on stairs, it looks like. And yeah, I think she's going to turn out beautifully. Oh, she's so cute. This one has 35 colors. And again, it's numbers, letters, and then symbols. And this one has one, two, three, four ABs in it. So, yeah, she's gorgeous. I love her. This one will turn out really, really nice. The drill fill looks really nice, too. Nice and clear drill fill there. Very, very nice. Looks like she's got a little headband on. Got the moon in the background here. Yeah, really nice. So this one was $9.24. And if you guys want any... Um, links to the uh, paintings if you're interested uh, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to get you the links like I said these are gifts from my husband uh, so I am one like lucky woman <laughs> I have a wonderful husband so <laughs> so yeah he every once in a while he does amazing things and uh, yeah, so it's awesome. So there she is. Really, really cute. And again, you just get this little piece of paper that tells you the symbol, the colors, uh, uh, quantity of dime of the diamonds, and then I presume that's the weight. It does say bags, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's the weight of each bag. So yeah. I guess, I mean, if you had a labeler, I'm sure you could probably make stickers out of these. I've heard people doing that. I just haven't, uh, I just have to find out more about how to do that. But, but with this, I mean, they do come in already, um, in these little baggies. So you don't even have to worry about kidding up if you don't want to. Especially when you have one of these, which I'm absolutely loving. I know I showed this on my other video, but I'm showing it again. So, so they hold up the baggies really nice. So you just have to stick the baggies in. Look at that, how nice it stands up. So really, really nice. I just uh, really, really like this tray. Oh yeah, see, they just stand up so nice there. You just have to go, not a problem to see the numbers either on here. So yeah, really, really nice. I really, really like that. So I said there was what? One, two, three, four ABs. So this one is a three, three, seven, one. So this is a brown, like a brown AB. So if you don't know what ABs are, as you can see, these ones have extra sparkle on them. Uh, they're for the uh, Aurora Borealis. Uh, it's just because they have kind of a shine like they like their Aurora Borealis does. So that's kind of a uh, a hard word to say sometimes. 
And then again, 310. So that must be quite common for these paintings to have the 310 for ABs. And then this one is a 775. So it's the really nice color blue. And then you have the 5200, which is the white. And that's the other one. So yeah. So some of the colors that are in here. Oops. This bag is sticking on to my painting. So you got pinks, you got blues, you got a really pretty uh, purple, and then grays. I presume that's probably going to be for her skin color. And the blues. So yeah, really nice colors. So, I thought there would probably be more white though for the lamb, but. I don't see really any white ones. This, these squares look really nice too. I don't see any issues with any of them. They look really nice. So, yeah, I thought there would be more white for the, for the, let's see. So this lamb is, oh, this lamb is going to be mostly, looks like mostly ABs in this. And then it's going to have three, seven, three, seven, four, three. Let's see if we can find three, seven, four, three quickly. Hmm. Not in this pile. This is going to be the other AB, maybe. I don't think so. It says number 28, but these ones are just labeled by the numbers, so. Three, seven, one, three. Hmm, not sure. Three seven seven zero. So some of it's going to be this color for the lamb. But yeah, I don't know where three seven four zero is. Or three seven. What did I say? Three seven four three. So not sure. Oh well, we'll see what it turns out like when I work on it. If I have some, if I don't like it, and I might have some white. Uh, some some more just uh, extra white squares. I might just use that on on the lamb. So, cause I don't. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Obviously, the number's in here somewhere. I'm just missing it. <laughs> That's not unusual. So, so anyway, those are the, my two paintings. Uh, that I had left to show you. Sorry for the crinkling. These bags are very loud. And I'll just put this back in here so I don't lose it. And then just close this up again. Is this going to save me so much time instead of putting them all into containers how I used to? Even though they came in these bags, I just like to always put them in containers just to have them all organized but with that little uh, bag organizer that is going to save me so much time so again this is just a little girl and her lamb just absolutely adorable nice and sticky not a problem there and uh yeah so so cute my husband did well he did very very well but but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Um, I said I do have uh, a little Timu haul that I will do uh, for tomorrow. Uh, probably mostly all jewelry. 
and uh, we can go through some of it and take a look and see what we think and uh, other than that it will be I got lots of dawn paintings that uh, came in so I look forward to sharing that with you guys but but yeah so thank you so much for watching and I appreciate appreciate each and every one of you um, tomorrow he has risen uh, what a day of celebration that will be <laughs> right um, something that we should be celebrating all the time that uh, Jesus rose for for all of us uh, so that we uh, all may have eternal life but um, but again, thank you, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. God's richest blessings to you all. See ya.